People always want to, like, ask, they always ask us, like, oh, is Obama paying you for this? Is, are you, you know, are you part of the campaign? And we're like, nope. Like, we're just two crazy yeah. people that did this. Yeah, we just, I mean, we had, uh, you know, imagination plus passion and perseverance, and here's your bus. The Obama bus recently stopped in Minnesota on its journey to visit all the swing states before November 4th. Basically, we started in Santa Cruz on October 4th, and we're going to be heading through every battleground state um, that's either purple, light red, light blue, um, all the way as far north as New Hampshire, and then coming down to Florida, because that's the state that needs the most help. Fred, Annie, and Gotti are crossing the country in a Volkswagen minibus and hope their enthusiasm for Obama will help energize people they meet along the way. You know, the whole goal is to get people inspired and to keep people inspired so that even after the election, people are going to be, you know, staying out there and staying involved because that's how America's going to get better. They emptied out their life savings to buy the bus and are paying for gas by making custom Obama t-shirts. You know, that's what we do with the t-shirts is it's all about kids getting creatively involved in the political process. Um, and just by spray painting the t-shirt, that's a conversation piece because if they're wearing a shirt that's really amazing and someone asks them about it, they're gonna be like, yo, I made it, and there's these kids traveling across the country, and da 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 da, and then it starts a conversation, and that's, that's what we want. We want to start a conversation in this country. Gotti says young people shouldn't wait to become politically active. One of my key frustrations is that in 06, uh, I was organizing for Claire McCaskill, and plenty of people would talk about how bad things were going, how they didn't like the Bush administration, how they didn't like how Congress was uh, happening. And, you know, if you're busy, if you have a test next week, if you have something, you're always going to have something, you know? But it's a question of how you prioritize, you know, what your passion is. And if you want to do something, you, you don't need to ask for permission. If you believe in it, do it. Push it, pursue it, make it happen. No matter how crazy your idea is, if you wanna you know, paint your bicycle and ride across the US and you believe in it, then do it. It's like, yeah. we're in America, and if, it's like, if you can't realize that you can do whatever you want here, then I feel sorry for you because you're not taking full advantage of our freedom. And this is what, you know, like it, freedom is to us, is like having the right to actually paint a bus like this with our political opinion and drive across the U.S. and do this. 